right, today my friend Journey has allowed me to do a tour of her rig. Um, she doesn't really want to uh, be on camera or anything, but we we uh, will do a tour of her rig and just show how cool this little thing is. It's a 5x8 trailer uh, that's been put together by the love of many hands. Thank you. Oh, cool. So, actually, this is um, my toilet over here. Oh, yeah. That's great. See, nobody even knows it's there. And um, what this size is, is this? Five foot by eight. And this is a privacy curtain, so I actually have three rooms here. I have a bedroom, a kitchen and uh, outside nice where did you get these ikea i need to get some of those i like those i've got one that's similar um and i love it so i want some more and you've got the alpacool mm -hmm. do you like it you know i haven't gotten it to freeze oh really have you tried it just in freezer mode um, I had it plugged in at a uh, friend's house, mm -hmm. and, but I think I might have had to do it for longer. Oh, okay. How long did you do it? I don't know. Probably a day and a half or so. Oh, what? I would think that would be almost enough. Um, okay, I'm going to get this. Um... I like your little pocket here. Do you like that? Yeah, I do, but I'm looking at other options. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to put my bed the other direction. Yeah, you were telling me that. Um, so, which wall are you wanting to put it on? Um, right there. Where, if you where the kitchen that, is? Yeah. Over here. Which reminds me. Is this like just a bowl or is yeah, it your sink? Yeah, actually one of those bowls that you, you get for the empty bowls uh, event for... You make a bowl and then you um, oh, okay. and donate. Mm -hmm. and it's for the you know food pantries. And now stuff. I see your sink. So yeah. if you go, if you do your bed long ways where your kitchen is now, along here, can you leave your sink set up here? Well, the sink is not operational right now, mm -hmm. and I really don't like its location. Uh, just because it's. Is it because of this corner here yeah. that makes it hard to yeah. use? Would yeah, that be I, the same if your bed was, was there? No, what I ha what I happen is I, ha I have people telling me where things should go, and it doesn't work. <laughs> right, you need to do yeah. you. Yeah. You need to you need to be you. So you you told me that this had many loving hands building it, right? Absolutely. Did you have a hand in building it as well? Well, only in just kind of like you know putting in the the you know doing a lot of holding on the things where stuff people did it but I put in the the netting across. I drilled the thing and put the netting across which is really great because everything just stays there. Yeah, yeah. So you've got good um, good pantry storage without it flying all over the place you know, when you're towing it down the then, road. You know, lining up where the the you know bars are. You know like the, these? Yeah, all the bars and okay. stuff where they go. And, uh -huh. and I, I painted the ceiling <laughs> with the vines. I think the ceiling is kind of cute. These and, are the vines right here. But the, and here's some fabric is, here. It's the sunlight. So if you pull that down a little bit, you'll see this. The green thing. Pull from the end. This? Get, get a corner. No, get a front corner. A front yeah. corner. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, do you, do you so have I that had, open much? Um, well, not so much in the desert because either it's really cold uh -huh. coming down or else it's really hot coming down. But once now we leave and go for the summer, it'll probably be off a lot because I just lay there and see the moon and the stars. Yeah, so you actually have one, one, two, five, women. three. Four, five windows five in, windows in, a in this little bitty tiny house. Yeah. Plus my That's great. Is up here for light as well. Little uh, 
disco ball. Okay, I'm going to do the Max Air fan. Oh, that's my Christmas decorations <laughs> that I didn't take out. So your Max Air fan, it has uh, both directions? Yes. Okay. Well, since you're closing the door, I'm going to get the door real quick. She just closed the door on me. Okay. And what size again did you say this is? Five foot wide, eight foot long. I figured Five by the eight. sun was in your eye, but it's not. It's in my eye. Yeah, it's in your <laughs> eye. And yeah, and I've not been getting you on on camera. Okay, good. Um so and I see you have your Lucy lights. Yep. Do you like the Lucy lights? I do. I mean I also have this which mm -hmm. plugs in with the USB and so, you so can when charge it somebody, that way. Well when somebody gets too close to me and the lights are coming right in on me on my uh -huh. my eyes. And that's a hyper tough. Yeah, it's just from Walmart. Uh -huh. Like ten okay. bucks. Okay. And I go like that and that sucker shines the light right at their <laughs> oh. face and I'm like, How do you like that? Uh -huh. now? Okay. It's like shut your lights off. Okay. I mean, really, I mean, you're going to park with your headlights facing right into somebody's window, right. like three feet away. Right. Do but. you have any other favorite um, modifications that just really work well for you? Um, well, this is going to change, but it's on a slide. Oh, yeah. Okay. A nice heavy-duty slide. That way you have nice access to the top, which yep. is where, how you open it. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... No, because, you know, it, like I said, it takes a while to um, get used to living in it. Uh -huh. And I have decided to do a whole shift in things, you know. Right. Um, I. Um, so why do you not like the bed across the back like this? This is the five foot way, right? Yeah, because and I it's can't too short. Out. Yeah. So you need it to go the eight foot way. Yeah. Right. Because even though I'm five foot two or something, but I take seven and a half feet full of room <laughs> so when you changed it to having the bed across the back um did you chop off the mattress or um well there's an interesting story in that mattress and that's why i said there's a lot of love that built it because a, a woman that had that mattress in her rig mm -hmm. um, a big coachman type thing mm -hmm. it was it's a king size uh, mattress uh -huh. and so she was asking around if anybody wanted it and it's like I'm just standing there because I have nothing you know I just have a board right and I didn't say a word and she, finally nobody wanted it so I said well I'd like it but it's way too big she says well you're it's yours now uh -huh. and I literally picked it up and rolled it up and it took the entire inside of this oh wow so it was like Which the princess in the pea bed you know mm -hmm. i had it going all the way up to the ceiling and so then i took it to the van build and the ladies in the sewing room cut it into pieces and then glued it together uh-huh and then um sewed a cover for it the you know these these covers here are all made by a lady that donated, well, she donated the material, then another lady made the uh, Velcro to be able to have it on the window, so mm -hmm. it does. So there's so many hands in here that did things. So right. another lady sewed these curtains. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, and another one outside that painted the, the flower box, and then another guy that built the slider, and. You know, it's just people that I've met, you know. Kindness. Um, Kindness of strangers, yeah, right? A yeah. lot of times. Um, I'm going to change the subject a little bit. Where did you get this and what Those exactly are is Ikea. it? Okay, yeah, I Ikea. like that too. Yeah. Because that, kinda... that you could use for cooking plus storage. Well, I had an right? aloe vera plant in it before. And then oh, cool. I was visiting a friend in Iowa. And then mm -hmm. I didn't want to leave it in the hot vein. Uh, thing so i gave it to her to keep outside and then i forgot it when i left okay and i see so, i see you have this other little storage container yeah, it's like a it's, hamper it's, probably yeah, it's right like catch-all i, uh -huh. I and, have an issue with getting rid of foil and and all kinds of things and, okay so that's a way that you can store some of those I know things found a roll of toilet paper rolling down the thing so <laughs> and that's the I, roll of toilet yeah, paper huh? i rolled that's it back hilarious. on the thing and put it back in here <laughs> that's funny you know so oh, that's hilarious. and this is actually a, a 12 volt electric blanket Okay, how do you like that? I haven't used it because it doesn't reach. Oh, okay. 
Okay. I mean, it, it reaches, but it reaches to where the cord then will be across here. And then when I get up, I'll trip over it going to the bathroom. Well, if nothing else, you could use it to warm up your, your bed before you crawl into it at night. Yeah, well, it might be one of those kind of... Uh, you know, you gave me something and I'll give you something, thing, yeah. you know, because yeah. that's the way it, it goes, you know, for right. everything that somebody's given me, I've given something to somebody else. Right. Yeah, definitely. If it's not the same people, it might be the next group of people that I meet mm -hmm. down the road. Okay. You know, I, I see so. another question I have. Is this all the pots and pans that you use? Right here, um, these two pans? Yes, this is it. Cool. This is all of this. This is well, what you minute. need. Oh. Wait, there is these little camping ones, too, oh, but okay. I use those to eat out of most of the time. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and so that's that's another way that uh, nomad people, mm -hmm. they, they get along by having a lot less and, and just learning that you can do a lot more with a lot less. Um and enjoy a nice lifestyle without having to have too much stuff cluttering your life because on the road you just can't have it all yeah, yeah very cool well i sure appreciate this tour that you've given us of your little tiny home we've got to check out the outside of course um <laughs> but i love all the windows in here can i say your name Journey. Journey. Okay. Yes. We're with Journey here. Hold that way first because I got a table for us. <laughs> okay. Private dock. All trespassers will be used for bait. Okay. Your little uh, cactus here. Do you put it out every day, every time you park, or does it travel? <laughs> it travels. Really? That's yes, great. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's there, wonderful. I carry six gallons of water. That's it. And there's my water storage. Oh, okay. Your six gallons of water is just in little one-gallon jugs, which is what I do also. I love your back deck here. Um, do you fold this part up Yep. Um, during travel? You know, what I do is I only put it down when I feel like I'm going to be in this spot. Okay. And, you know... It's just, you know, whether I want to have that extra room or, or mm -hmm. not. Is this, uh, is this here a ladder? Yeah, it is. Oh, my I, gosh. Actually, wow. I, I I've never had, seen one like that. I had a ladder that was the kind of the telescoping ladder. Mm -hmm. And so I was uh, at a boondockerswelcome.com location in Bend, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And this temple had this ladder. Yeah, I've never seen it. Oh, cool. I have never, ever, ever seen one like that. So, did you buy the shell like it is? I did. Um, it had the windows in it, but not the folder. Um, it did not have this trailer either. It had a trailer oh, okay. that you get in a box at like tractor supply. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Okay, just because we're talking about it. Yeah. Okay, what yeah. about your little propane stove here? Yeah, I know. I don't normally have all that junk laying out. But That's okay. I've been calling wood and rocks for uh, somebody's campfire. To uh -huh. I pull it out of my truck. Very cool. But, uh, but yeah, the propane fire um, ring I got from Home Depot for like a hundred and a quarter. Are you liking that? Yeah, I love it. Cause Very the, good. The, um, the fire ban a lot of places. Mm -hmm. I can still have a fire. Right. Okay. And I assume that you use this little apparatus for your showers, right? Well, yeah. Mostly just washing my hair. Okay. Um, I usually do the sponge bath inside. So it's been modified. It's a it's a garden sprayer, and it's been modified a little bit. But uh, you use it to uh, take a shower or wash your hair. Turn around. It shows the the um, when you paint it. Don't right. have to leave a strip of. You leave the strip there. because the water level is right here, and I. Yeah. Can see that because of the fact that this strip was left clear and uh, you pump it up get some pressure going in there and the water just comes right outside the hose nice 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 okay uh, so you do have solar uh, yeah I have two 100 uh, watt solar panels and two uh, you know regular batteries and I see you have propane. What are you using the propane for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, because... Well, I you can use it I... for your propane uh, uh, fire pit. I could, but I have a, a three-gallon one that I got, bought for huh. it. I actually uh, had that um, 
because I have a little buddy heater underneath the bed, but I haven't used it. I've been able to use... Better to not need it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's emergency. Um, okay. And then at the van build, too, they, they welded that onto oh. the trailer. Oh, okay. That was great. So, yep. Yeah. Like the... I said, di different places, different people. Right. Yeah. The van build is a very, very helpful community. Um, this year it was a little different because of COVID, but... Um, it, it, nomadic people are still a very helpful uh, community of people and they're going to rise up and, and uh, help people you know be at least somewhat comfortable on the road I love your back door there just a normal door that's great okay okay gonna... this trailer was welded together for you by your friends how the, awesome at, is that at Southwest trailer San Antonio. Okay. Here's the information if you need that. And contact Chris. Okay. Yes, because this trailer is, is really quite unique, I think. Um, you, you see here, this all comes off, so I don't have to worry about anybody stealing it because I just pull these out and take this with oh, me. Oh, very cool. Okay. And he welded that part too? Um, no, uh, that's or is that just part an of the... attachment. Oh, okay. But then I've got four leveler jacks mm -hmm. welded onto it. Which that's very, very helpful too. And like I said, you do fold up the back while you're traveling, right? Oh, absolutely. So did that come, Is that was that part of the trailer as it was made? Yes. Okay, yep. so um, you just fold this part up, right? Yep. And then you can store stuff back there if you so choose. Yes. I am. Um, and you pull these and lock it in. Mm -hmm. But um, I uh, also have electric brakes installed. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Wow. That's really nifty. Okay. So this is that ladder that just takes up no space whatsoever. How do you open it? Okay. Just pull it apart. It's probably going to take me longer than... <laughs> Maybe I should have practiced it first. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, don't look yeah, at me. <laughs> well, just a minute. You're going to probably have to do it. We have to start over. It's got it caught. That's why this thing is caught in there. That's why it's not coming apart. Oh, okay. Ah! Can you get it or do you need some help? I might. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, now I know. I think it shouldn't have been that difficult. Oh my gosh. Happens, you know? This is like a regular ladder. Except for it folds up so much smaller. Oh my gosh. I want this ladder. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's great. That is like, that's a nice four or five foot ladder. And it's so small and it's folded up. That is amazing. And you don't know where it came from or anything, do you? Nope. I exchanged it from Okay. A, it's Easy Store Ladder. My, uh, the ultimate space saver made in China. Easy Store Ladder. I'm going to have to look Amazon that up. Yeah, but I've never seen one like that. So I might well, have to look that up. My marketplace is just Nomadville. And there you go. <laughs> Trades, right? Because yep. you need this. I don't need yep. that. And yeah, yep. people do trade stuff all the time in the nomadic community because you don't have space for what you don't need. So you just trade it off and, you know, sometimes you give one thing to somebody and then 10 days later you might get something you needed. Yeah. Um, so that's well, the like way it Like I said, I started out with nothing in there except for mm -hmm. totes that were stacked up against the back of the wall and, and it was bungee corded and I laid mm -hmm. on the floor. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Well, I think you have a really, really cool rig, and the, the fact that it's small means it doesn't weigh very much, um, and it probably doesn't even affect your gas mileage much, does it? Well, it's like most anything else. If you're going, to, you know, um, from east to west and going through like Wyoming where it's windy like crazy, um, I was getting like 11 miles a gallon. Yeah, oh yeah. But if you're going, you know, through any other situation where it's, you know, pretty clean and clear and smooth and...
not a lot of elevation, then, you know, we're looking at, you know, 21. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. So, and anything in between. Very good. All right. Well, thank you again for the interview today. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Definitely. <laughs> We've got like uh, three males to this one now. For some reason, like, she's like one hot chick today. I don't know what the deal is. Are you a hot chick? Huh? Oh, four males to the one hot chick. Okay.